An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Your name is? Linda. Linda, nice to meet you, Linda. Hello. This is my um, apprentice. Hello, Hello. Opal. Opal. Opal, very nice. Thank my favourite stone. Mm -hmm. Are you a Gemini? No, Aries. Aries. Aries, 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 and we just went, do you want to sell that vase? And we bought it then, and I think we paid £10 for it. Mm, nice. But the reason I, I thought it might be have some value is I read somewhere, or I heard somewhere, that when you feel inside, if you feel a glaze and then you feel a rough piece... Oh, yeah. Any more bad than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, and, and I don't know, as I say, I had read it or heard it somewhere, and that has got the rough piece That's inside. Yeah, which, which, which means the jar has been put together. Because uh, at the time, this is probably made in sort of 1780, 1820, that sort of period. You know, early, early oh. 19th century, late 18th century. Really? And they call this, when you put your hand inside it, it's a joint together, because they couldn't actually fire the whole piece in one go. Right. They had to fire it in two goes. Uh -huh. And then you have to fire this piece first, that piece beforehand. Mm -hmm. And then you put them together and it's called looty. Right. You put your hand inside there and you feel it's like a ridge. Yeah. Can you feel that? Yeah. Should we put your hand in there? Yeah. You feel it ridge? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what made me think it might be not just uh, a... Found, okay. all that. So it's joining the body to the neck? That's it, yeah. yeah? And two halves, that's it. Well, yeah, yeah, I feel that. Because, say, in the early Chinese, it was such a massive piece, they couldn't fire it in one go. Mm -hmm. So they make it in two pieces. So yeah. it is Chinese? Definitely Chinese, yeah. And you tell that by the by the the whiteness of the of the porcelain round here. It's pure white. That helps. Well, and this so blue many circle. Now yeah, copies. but you look at this as well. Look at this, and also little black dots in here. Yeah. It means it's quite early as well. It's like a firing fault. You know, but the only thing against you know it sounds strange, but if they had six character marks around there. Had. Six character marks, they call them Chinese character marks. Right. If it had six, it hasn't got them. Right. If it had six character marks along there, and that size pot, with a, a better decoration, they call this a prunus decoration, and it's almost provincial. You know, it means made in provinces of, yeah, of yeah. China. If it was, if it was um, imperial, a vase this side, this age, would be worth. Have a guess. <laughs> probably. 50 million? <laughs> probably, not far short. No, it wouldn't be worth 50 million. <laughs> but it'd be worth, seriously, if it was in min condition, but it's not. It's so it'd probably be worth like 5 million if it was like this size. Yeah. An imperial yeah. and better quality. But it's not. It's provincial. It's got some, uh, quite a lot of damage there. Yeah. How did that happen? Apple. It was like that when we oh, bought right. it. It's in, yeah. We haven't damaged it at all since. It was, yeah. that was the condition it was in. And what did you use it for? Because there's some glitter in the bottom. <laughs> Oh, well, as I say, we've had it about 30 years, so I've probably put twigs in there or something. But now it, it stands in our bedroom on the windowsill. And then I've bought copies of little... And so we've got the big one, then smaller jars. So it just sits on the, on the, on the windowsill. It's quite a common pattern, as you know, isn't it? You see every, every little junk shop's got one of these prunes. Yeah, usually the but ginger jars. Ginger jar, they? and they're all sort of quite modern. Yeah. You know? So this is quite a common pattern. You know, but it's, it's nice, but it's got, it's got some age to it, which is nice. I mean, late 18th century, early 19th century Chinese. But no Flexible. value as such. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, what did you pay for it? Ten pound. Do you want the good news? It's worth more than ten it's pounds. Worth, <laughs> I was going to say it's worth five Eleven. pounds. <laughs> no, Eleven. That's funny. I was going to say five. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, well, to put a value, it's difficult to put a value on it because right. of the, the damage. Yeah. You know, but if I was to put a value on it, I'd probably put it a value maybe sort of. Yeah, conditioned 100 to 150 pounds, maybe 200 on a good day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something I would like to buy if you wanted to sell it. No, you wouldn't sell it for any money. 
Well, <laughs> I would oh, sell it for, for not, not for £100. Not would you sell it for £200? I, I don't know. I, I, I would. Because the condition probably, puts me off. It's me. I would like to. Yeah, you know, I would like to give you if it was imperial or anything else. But it's not. It's, it's a provincial Chinese pot. It's a good size. I will say yeah. it's a nice size. No, I think I'd rather keep it actually. Do you want? Look at me eyes. Look at me eyes. Look, do you want? I can't. You hate people saying no to me. <laughs> do you want? Three hundred pound for it. That's cash now if you want it. I'm taking a chance on that because yeah. of damage. No, no, I'll keep want, it. Do you I'll want? Keep it. I'll keep it. Do you want three thousand pounds for it? Three thousand. Do you want three thousand? <laughs> maybe three thousand. Maybe. Oh, do you want three thousand? I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a little bit sceptical now because if you started off at, at I'm just asking, I'm just asking you, do you want three thousand? You're not offering. Just say yes or no, do you want three thousand for it? <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll keep it. Do you want five thousand for it? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I mean I didn't have What's going through your mind, Linda? What are you thinking now? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting a little bit confused. Is it really worth a lot of money? Because all, I'm asking, all I'm asking you is, would you take 5,000 for it? Would we take five... <sighs> Gosh. What would I do with 5,000? I'd have to have a good reason for selling for 5,000. Right. And I can't think of anything that I'd want to buy for 5,000 so pounds. You don't want to sell it for 5,000? No, I don't think so. No. All I'm doing is trying to establish it. Do you want to sell it or not? Well, I don't. <laughs> but obviously you don't. You, you're hard not to crack. You, you wouldn't even take 10,000, would you? I might take 10. <laughs> but, um, to be honest, I came down here expecting queues and queues of people and not to even get to this stage, to yeah. be perfectly well, you've got honest. To, you, you, you don't want to come and see me. But I think... Obviously, you wouldn't take 5,000 foot, would you? I don't have time to think about it. I've got to make a decision now, haven't I? Well, you can think. There's no rush. Come back next week. Can I really do that? Of course you can. Are you, are you offering me 5000 No, I'm just oh. asking, do you want 5000 for it? I've got to start somewhere. <laughs> What's the point? Well, I need to me? establish, do you want to sell it first of all? Well, for the, probably for the right price. I mean, yeah. everything's got a price, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 So, you know, if, if it was a good price, if you then can I give, could me, give, give my give, kids give, some money and, you know... Give me do ten. Some give me ten minutes. I'm back in five minutes. Ten minutes. Sorry? Give me ten minutes. I'm back in ten minutes. You'll be back in ten minutes. Yes. All right. Okay. Just ask somebody something. Okay. Ask one of my um, colleagues. Okay. All right. Well, now, Linda, just just come back and speak to some of my colleagues. Mhm. Mm and um, do like the vase. All right. I hand on my heart. I think it's one of them sort of things. Maybe you want to go to auction with. You know, I'd like mm -hmm. to buy it for £500 for cash. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those sort of things that might get a surprise from the Chinese market. In the present climate, the Chinese people are buying back their own stuff. Mm -hmm. And this could be sort of a typical thing they might want to buy back. They might pay £500 for it, but they might also pay that 5000 Right. that I mentioned earlier. You know, I haven't got the, the oomph to give you 5000 no. for it personally. But if it's something you want to, to maybe consider... Well, now I know that it... It is old, yep. and it, it is original, you know, from China. It's got some value. Yeah. I might think about it, but it's, it's just been sat at home, and I've all, all the time thought, I think it's, it is worth something, yeah. but didn't have a clue what. Yeah. So you, you've verified that I it's can go further with it if I want to. 18th century. Yeah, but I will say it's up to you. It's obviously your vase, but I think the present climate is a time to sell it, whether you sell it now or next year but sell it because the Chinese market change mm -hmm. like all fashion change mm -hmm. so I'd think is there is there a specialist auction house that specializes or is it well, any, I'd, I'd any be honest, auction yeah, house? the Chinese are so sort of adept now on the computer they pick up on the internet right. any auction really 
picks up, you know, I think one the other day made 53 million or something. I know, it's crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> you know, but that was in a little auction in the countryside. So, yeah. you know, oh, so, so really, yeah. it wasn't in the big London auction houses. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So this sort of vase could make 500, it could make five, you know, I don't think it will make 5,000 personally. But you don't know, you get two nice, two nice Chinese people <laughs> buying. Yeah, against each other, it might push that price up. Mm. So it's something you might consider. You might. I might well consider that. Um, mm. But as I say, for five hundred pounds, what would I do with five hundred pounds, really? You know, if it was more, I could give the kids yeah. some money each. Do you know what I mean? Mm. To do, which would do them some good. Yeah. But. I'd rather have it sitting on my windowsill. Right. If you like it and appreciate it, then keep it. But you know, I mean, that's yeah. the important thing, isn't it? Yeah. But and then the kids, when we go, will just get a local house clearance in. And they go back to their shopping in South London <laughs> and be ten pound again. Yeah. But so, now you think about it, if you want. Yeah. So you think about what you want to do. But yeah. it's a nice fire. It's got potential. I think the worst way it's worth five hundred pound on a very extremely brilliant day for you, it might make 5,000. Right. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Linda, for coming along. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>